Hey, what up, Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're doing good. Welcome to my Fallout 76 uh, limited rewards video. In this video, we're gonna take a look at a camp item that you can earn by playing Season 2 and by reaching rank 76. The item is called Brotherhood of Steel Fill Station. Uh, so basically, I'm gonna make a review on how it looks. So we're gonna build it in a workshop. Also, I'm gonna use it as a fort. There are a couple of things I dislike about the actual thing. I'm gonna also mention what I dislike about it. And I really hope that's gonna get into some attention and get maybe a little buff or fix, you know. Uh, essentially, uh, all the timestamps are in the video description or on the progress bar of the video. You can use those timestamps to navigate through the video to get to the point on what is uh, most I of interest to you. So let's stop wasting time and jump right into it. Alright, so uh, let's get on with how to build it first. So essentially, once you reach the rank 76, you claim it and it should end up in your atomic shop. So if you navigate to your uh, atomic shop over here, in this menu over here, you navigate to your camp items, right? And uh, afterwards, you just gotta scroll down. I think it should be in structures, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yes there it is so you have the brotherhood of field station and now you can build it and by the way doors also go with this camp item uh they're not listed here but uh, okay <laughs> so uh let's go ahead and uh build one right now so we open the menu navigate to your misc misc structures there you go and you you place it right Afterwards, what you want to do as well is you need to place the door. So there you go. You have most probably this door, whichever, just look for the door and you can place it in there. Bam, done. Open the door. There you go. Now, the other thing is uh, you need to light uh, this building itself it requires three power in order to like sort of glow like my one over here you can see at the very start like here you go it glows also you can see some steam coming out uh, from the doors right so the good thing is is that you can actually put your generator inside the building so as you can see that thing is sticking out over there right on the top but it can go through the roof and that's nice because you don't have to put your generator outside uh, now if you put the generator right uh, let's just like for example put this one right here just bam done and it fires up and it starts to actually you know glow and stuff like that so yeah that's how you build it so what I like about this uh, camp item well first of all I already mentioned that you can wire it through the roof right I like these sort of animations over here uh, the doors are pretty cool as well although I have a little point here about dislike uh, which I'm gonna get a little bit later uh, in this video about what I dislike about the doors right so there we go it looks super cool as you can see there we go and there is kind of like a pretty good decent amount of space inside the actual uh, field station, right? You can put your bed, you can put your uh, workbenches and stuff like that. If you're building a camp, you can make out of it, I don't know, a vending store or something like that. Personally, myself, I'm going to use these things as a fort for the workshops that I take over, right? So here we go. This is what I'm going to have as a pre-default uh, setup for my uh, fort. So I have my food, my armor workbench, uh, uh, weapon workbench, my both of my stashes, and the bed. So basically a good generator. So I can like, uh, if I'm going to capture this for example, I can connect it and it will start getting me my, what was this, concrete I think? No? I don't know. Uh, also, since I like having a lot of water, I usually also spam the water supplies until the point that I'm not using up any screws. So here for example, let me show you. Uh, bam 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 recently oh, recently used so I should have my water here there you go so I'll just put these things like over here right and I would connect them connect them thank you come on game are you serious oh and bam I'm getting my water right 
and it's it's really freaking nice to be honest so i just made a blueprint of my fort and there we go so this is the fort that i'm going to be usually uh using all, all times right uh but i also made a one with defenses over here so as you can see bam it has a lot of different defenses as well boom there you go the other thing what i love about it is previously when i had my forts made right uh even if you would like in the build menu right and it would show that it's green and hey man you can build it uh i don't know it would happen to bug out and now i just have to spam a uh whatever to build this thing uh to my my export i actually scrapped it so i can't show it to you but with this one uh i whenever i see it's uh, glowing green i can actually place it just with one click uh please uh, because so far i haven't run into the thing that i would have to like spam a to actually put it though although it's glowing green i think those guys who've uh, encountered that issue definitely understand my pain and i would like waste like more than two three minutes when it should be a click of a button Ooh, look at it something happening here <laughs> perfect timing thank you and look at it boom that's what i call a ford baby <laughs> Yeah, perfect timing. Thank you for responding there. Who was you? Uh, Snallagaster, right? Thank you, Snallagaster. It's perfect, perfect timing. It's pure love, but rest in peace, rest in peace. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty freaking cool. You gotta admit. Alright, what else do I like about it? Well, there's a lot of things. Oh, there we go again. Boom. You don't want to mess with my fort. <laughs> Although... I'm gonna be placing such forts only in case if I'm gonna be like in beast mode. Uh, but I really don't want these things to sell my XP, so I'm not gonna be using this one a lot. But the good thing is, it can complete the defense without me going there, so I don't know. I'll think about what I'm gonna be placing this. But once again, to place this thing, man, with all the components that I have, you can look on the screen 44 uh, aluminium. Uh, security 29 and so on but but this building this workshop already has some resources so i don't spend all of mine but anyway i have the scrap box so i have a lot of junk so yeah man i really love this but there are two major things that i really dislike about this and i'm gonna show it to you after the review
Here is what I dislike about this, is that its HP is very slow and just a pack of wild mongrels can take out your entire... Well... I don't know, shelter? Like in seconds. And that really freaking sucks because isn't this supposed to be like a an un sort of breakable fort? I mean, it should break, that's for sure. But... Um, not that fast so this is my only big concern and big dislike about this and by the way I don't know what's up but if the if the door right is not locked those mongrels for some reason are able to open the door and walk in and just start destroying everything that is inside I don't know neither they're smart I have no idea but man th that is crazy to be honest like let me try to lock him inside because I did test it out when it wasn't, uh, like, locked. Yeah, he can't open it. You need to, like, put this thing, um, lock it. So if you go open your menu, right, you navigate to your door and you need to lock it. If you, for example, unlock the door, let's see if he's going to have enough brains to open it. I think he needs to stop attacking. Okay. Let's do another quick one. There you go, and he opens the damn door. But if you lock it, he won't open the door. And yeah, the HP, I mean, just a pack of freaking level 60 uh, mongrel can destroy this thing within seconds. These are like the, I don't know. <laughs> well, the HP thing is 100%. About the locked door, okay, um, I don't know, I'll leave it up to you to decide, but in my personal opinion, I don't think animals should be able to open the doors. Unless, if this is like, if these doors are like, uh, you know, automated. By automated, I mean, I walk up, and they open by themselves. See, they don't open by themselves. Like, there's no sensors or whatever for the door to open. You gotta click. To open the damn door. How the hell does a dog click the button to open the door and eat me while I'm freaking sleeping? <laughs> yeah. Cockroach. Alright, Z Clan and everybody else, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, you know the drill. Don't forget to hit that like, comment down below. Please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube. Nobody see them, nobody can read them, nobody can, nobody can react to them. So if you got something positive and negative to mention, you can always mention it without swearing in the comments. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> if you're new and you subscribe, welcome to Z Clan. I'm Gamer Z Soul from Ukraine. So, hi from Ukraine. If you want to join our community on Discord, feel free to do so. The link is down in the video description, as well as the tutorial on how to use it. Although, some big updates are coming to our Discord within uh, the start of the next month, and I'll need to make a new uh, tutorial for it. But, uh, once again, thanks all for watching. You know the drill. Don't forget to hit that like, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye. From the ashes we rose into